Next on list, we have here news courtesy of the New York Times regarding prominent YouTube personality Kevin Samuels passing away at the age of 57. This came out of the blue actually over the weekend. Um, I don't think anybody was aware that he had prior health conditions or whatnot. Um, it wasn't something that he was maybe suffering from a long bout of illness or whatever. It just kind of came out of the blue and um, the news kind of took Black Twitter, I would say, by storm over the weekend. Um, it was really interesting to kind of jump in a few twitter spaces and hear people really really laying into kevin samuels during his death i think this has been the first time in a long time i can't think of the last person this happened to maybe jimmy savile but again i don't think i was on twitter that heavy but i do remember people being on the street like you know celebrating people honking their horn and stuff when he passed away but for the most part even the most polarizing of figures or people that are not really that well liked on social media they usually get some level of you know respect silently or whatnot it may be when they do pass but this is the first time i saw people legitimately happy that somebody died who is kind of prominent on the internet or social media regards it maybe and it's a bit sobering i have to be honest because usually people are quite graceful respectful when someone passes away um because you know we've all kind of been there we've known people in our own families own friend groups who have passed away unexpectedly maybe for the same kind of cause of death that afflicted Sam kevin samuels and you can kind of you know, empathize with them right or you can empathize with the family members or whatnot but this is the first time everyone was like nah enough of that shit this guy is dead you know god don't bless the dead spit on his grave and you know whatever it may be and kick his flipping tombstone down it was mad to see to be honest um so let's continue here it says kevin samuels a youtube and instagram personality whose blunt lifestyle advice aimed at black men and women drew a legion of admiring followers and a chorus of detractors um who condemned his views as outdated and cruel died on thursday in atlanta he was 57. his death was announced by two friends and fellow youtube personalities dennis sperling and melanie king mr sperling who is also a lawyer identified himself uh, as a family spokesman in the instagram post the atlanta police said he was found unresponsive on the floor of his apartment no cause was cited the story allegedly that i've seen online is that he was hooking up with this nurse who he met the day before and they were getting into it and i guess he was on top and he complained about his having heart pain and then in a flash he kind of collapsed the nurse gets up calls uh, medical services but by the time they come they try and perform cpr and he doesn't wake up again some would say he went out on top as he wanted to you know joke included there some would say there's something fishy going on there because the nurse's background is to be to be confirmed and whatnot but it just does sound seem like a really unfortunate accident um or you know series of events that basically led to this it's not i don't think there's anything more deeper or malicious involved there personally i would say um describing himself as an image consultant mr samuels had transformed in recent years from a personal stylist into a social media celebrity who built his following on an image in plain spoken hyper masculine authority um usually wearing a finely tailored suit the approach brought him more than a million followers on youtube and now instagram and many of his supporters viewed him as taking outrageous stands that are now called that they, they would call traditional view values which is interesting because i would also call them traditional values and you wouldn't imagine somebody who's very traditional to garner that level of hate from people in society but you know things have changed and moved i don't really know much about kevin simons i think when i first saw him online i incorrectly assumed he was like a black jordan peterson but he's not he's not as sophisticated or nuanced i'd say as jordan peterson maybe a bit of a blowhard in that respect but for the most part he seemed like somebody who like most content creators out there was trying to find his lane and he did obviously find his lane in the end but it seemed that somebody that was trying to throw as many things he can at the board you know on online image consultant styling whatever it may be called um what's that thing called um, when you do your manners and stuff i've got that thing um what's that it's a term for it but you know what i mean right and then if I'm not mistaken, he did get into a period in his time during his content where he was focused primarily on giving the harsh reality or the harsh truth to black men, you know, kind of coming up in terms of how they should approach women and how they should approach their life. But for whatever reason, that stuff didn't get him as much attention as when he suddenly turned the lens onto the women, especially because some of them were on camera, right? He'd get he'd do this whole live calling thing where you'd call in for help and advice on your relationships or sex advice and he'd give you kind of his unfiltered truth usually through the lens of like you know i'm an alpha male i'm a successful guy i'm a high value guy all this sort of buzzwords that's nonsense you see hear people talk about in the manosphere and for whatever reasons those videos really really 
caught steam and kind of got him everywhere and um through those exchanges i guess what people most people kind of made their mind up on how he was as a person because they saw a black man basically get on online and going out of his way to basically tear down other black women when it comes to them you know being basically emotionally vulnerable talking about stuff that's basic stuff stuff that maybe they shouldn't be talking about i don't know but i guess the optics of it didn't look too great but if we're being sensible and we're being quite adult about it I don't necessarily think the reaction to him makes sense because all it was was a difference of opinion it feels like he had one view of how he saw relationships sex um jobs uh, you know in uh, inter flipping sexual relations whatever it may be is it not interpersonal relations between men and women in general he saw those things very differently to how most people would see them online. I think most people have those views that he has offline, but of course, most people are afraid to share them online because you don't want to get screamed at by the horde of people who don't really subscribe to that way of thinking and think the world should move on and things have changed, blah, 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 blah. So I don't really think it's that radical, or that crazy to tell a woman who's a single mother that maybe if she's trying to go out on a dating pool, or she's trying to go out then date again maybe trying to aim for a guy who's 27 with a six pack and earns a million a year isn't realistic because most likely he's going to be trying to look for girls younger than that person right it's just the facts is it something nice to say no would you go out of your way to cross over the street and tell a woman on her own with a couple of kids hey you're not shit you're not going to find a partner no you wouldn't but these women are calling into his show and to have somewhat of a tit for tat a little bit of a debate a little bit of a powwow so in that respect i think you know the platform is a platform if you know what he's like don't call into the show um i've seen many video clips of other women actually giving it to kevin samuels and actually winning that kind of verbal sparring match so it wasn't always one-sided but again you know when you have a narrative to spin you're just going to get out all the worst clips that you can of somebody and make them look horrible the only thing i will say about him as well just to end this point would be because he's created so much content online and spoken so often, there are some clips out there that are absolutely insane and I think pretty much indefensible. There's one I saw of him talking about having a hypothetical conversation with a lady saying, oh, if if you if you're with somebody new and this lady had her own kid and um, the dude happened to be in a shower and the little kid happened to walk past the door whilst the, whilst the, whilst the shower room, whilst the door was open, and the kid then come back and told you something weird happened with me and your boyfriend, would you all make you think it was a soul or a pedo or something like that? And I was like, what? Guess, guess what? What kind of question is this to even ask? What what do you want to get away get from this? This is like really, really bizarre. So that one I was really uncomfortable with. I don't understand what the context, there was no context to it because I listened to a longer clip also. It just didn't make any sense why that stuff needed to be said. I just don't understand that one. And then the other one I saw that I thought was a bit weird. What was the one I thought was a bit weird? I forgot which one it was. Was him talking about himself? But I don't know, there's a few clips out there that you can't really defend when it comes to Kevin Samuels. But that's usually the the problem that happens with people who talk so often online especially ones who are trying to find themselves they find their lane sorry you end up trying to say so many crazy things to try and garner some reaction and get some sort of you know virality going for your career that you end up saying things you probably don't even mean or believe in all honesty um but yeah like i said it's been really interesting and weird to see people legitimately celebrating his death but it also is sobering because i think in life unfortunately or fortunately we only get one shot at first impression you don't really get any do-overs at life in general so sometimes even at work someone can come in who starts and just the way that they pack their lunch the way that they walk to the toilet the way that they close the door the way they turn the tap on the way that they say certain words could just get on your nerves to a point where you just don't care anymore i don't like this person they haven't said nothing to you don't know from anywhere but just one little slight that they do can make you completely turned off to them as a person as a human to the point where you're not going to give them a chance to even try to get into good graces so if you're kevin samuels and you're somebody online and no one even knows you to begin with they don't owe you a benefit of the doubt they're they're allowed to make up their mind on you if they want to and if you give them a reason to trust me they're going to take it and they took it and they ran with it and people are legitimately you know dancing on his grave as we speak at the moment which is pretty mad and then of course the saddest thing of it is the mum isn't it right the mum i think is one of the only family members i think that's alive i've heard speak in public she said she found out only when it was on social media so she wasn't even contacted directly first she had to find out through social that he had passed away and then imagine usually when someone's famous passes away it's all over social media so you can just quickly search their name and see what's happening so she 
she'd most likely saw all the hate and all the abuse that he was getting online before she could even process her feelings of how she felt about her son passing away in such a tragic and awful circumstances but it's quite funny i saw a meme going out there saying that how you know he was you know deriding black women saying that how you're gonna die alone at 35 with no one to love you blah 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 and he was 57 unmarried dying in a condo you know or an apartment sorry with the woman he just met the day before in the house i think supposedly someone said a line that he didn't actually own which is crazy too um and then the money thing gets involved two people start speaking about it again maybe it's a go fund me to get served about it. it's just it's just a sad situation all, all around you know what i mean really is a sad situation but again like i said first impressions do count and sometimes i feel like i don't mind this energy i really don't i think sometimes when people try and do that whole fake respectful thing that they don't really mean it kind of pisses me off and you know there's people in, in, in all our lives i'm sure if we heard that they happen to pass away in a very tragic way that we would absolutely sleep like an absolute baby the day of so let's not kid ourselves do you know what i mean especially people that we don't actually know you don't owe anybody that courtesy of kind of being sad that they passed away we all pass away at the end of the day it is what it is um but i guess just in the in the current state of things i've never really seen people legitimately dance on someone's grave like this is pretty pretty mad to see um you'd think that he legitimately did something to people physically in, in a way that you know is um you can't really come back from but to just have different opinions on relationships and sex and stuff and to be that hated is crazy but again maybe there's more things to him that i'm not really aware of but it is what it is isn't it